everyone, it's Guest Anchor Week, and today we're happy to welcome English teacher, theater expert, part-time <laughs> taxidermist, and all-around bon vivant, Mr. Greg Richards. Mr. Richards, welcome back to the show. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, Aaliyah. I always, th this is my second favorite day of the year besides President's Day, so it's cool to be here today. Why President's Day? Uh, I just like um, the power connected to it, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, Mr. Riches, you are a professional, so why don't we just get started? Let's do. The next Best Friends Forever party is December 17th at White River Christian Church. It will be from 6 to 7.30. If you have any questions about that, contact Abby Essig. If you don't know Abby Essig, contact Rebecca Hammond for that meeting of the next Best Friends Forever. <laughs> SCCLA holiday party will be held during today, AL. If you have an, your item to donate, make sure to give it to St. Vincent de Paul or donate to the book drive. Go get your pass from Mrs. Clark, Miss Shelby, or Miss Butts. Club de Español. There will be a Spanish club meeting today. Any current Spanish class students are welcome to come and even bring a couple friends if you'd like. Get passes from Señorita Solist or Señora Pasa. Hey, all you CAD experts, don't forget to submit your application today if you want to work for the Miller Consulting. Make sure you have checked your application for spelling and grammatic errors. Your interviews will be Thursday, December 11 during AL, which is today. Please dress appropriately. If you have any questions or concerns, please send a message to Mrs. Megashar, Mrs. Weirserma, Weir or Mr. Wilkins ASAP. Students interested in the upcoming science fair, your meeting is quickly approaching. Make sure you stop by Ms. Obremski's room 2076 today at 135 to get more information. Coders of the past, present, future, listen up. The Hour of Code is back again this year. President Obama is here with some more info. Hi, everybody. Last year, students and teachers across our country celebrated Computer Science Education Week with an hour of code. They learned new skills, programmed games and apps, and realized that while no one is born a computer scientist, becoming a computer scientist isn't as scary as it sounds. With hard work and a little math and science, anyone can do it. For this year's Computer Science Education Week, more than 48 million people have already signed up, and we're hoping even more of you will get involved. Don't just consume things, create things. Take an hour to learn more about the technology that touches every part of our lives. That's how you can prepare yourself with the skills you need for your future. And it's how you can help prepare our country for the future as well. America's always been a nation of tinkerers and builders and inventors. We brought the world everything from the light bulb and the telephone to the iPad and the internet. So whether you're a young man trying his hand at programming for the first time, or a young woman who's already hard at work on the next big thing. We're counting on you, America's young people, to keep us on the cutting edge. Thanks, everybody, and happy coding. This week runs from now until the 14th. If you find greater interest in the field, sign up for programming or join the Code Club. Happy coding, Millers. Attention, juniors. Remember, if you plan to be a student assistant during your senior year, you must, must, must Go talk with the teacher or office you would like to help first. Teachers may only have three assistants per semester, so fill out the student's assisting form in the iBook as soon as possible. Don't be that person that fills out the form without asking the teacher. Confirm your spot ASAP. Well, Mr. Richards, now you can officially add news report to your list of amazing talents you have. It sounds like I have trouble keeping a job. Hey, let's do a selfie, Aaliyah. All right. We'll finish with that. And you are my new second favorite student in the school. Yay! Jeez. <laughs>
Welcome back, NHS. Today we have my econ teacher and friend, Miss White. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. I feel like Aaron Andrews rocking sports with you. And what's that make me? Um, how about stinky mustache man, Bill Cower? The Steelers coach? Yeah, ex-Steelers coach. Yeah, he's the man. Except he looks like his mustache smells all the time. But he's beautiful. <laughs> Personal have you, opinion. Have you seen him? Yeah. Google him. I have. He's hot. Your freshman boys basketball team traveled to Cathedral High School on Tuesday evening in split contests. The A team won by the score of 43 to 24. They held the Irish to seven points total in the second and third quarters and used their defense to set the tone for the entire game. Cade Gorman led the Millers with 15 points and seven rebounds. Luke Hafner scored 10 points. Carter Cates chipped in seven points and Cole Thompson played solid with four points, four assists and two steals. The B team played only two quarters, but lost by the score of 21 to 15. They were down 14 to four and fought back with the energy and effort of Brady Nicholson, Bryce Randolph, RJ McDuffie, Braden Stewart, and AJ Gray. Great job, guys. The NHS Miller Swimmers and Divers defeated Lawrence North Tuesday night. Both the NHS boys and girls team moved swimmers to different events, but still outscored their opponents by a lot. Individual first place winners for the Millers were Justin Ogle in the 200 IM, Alyssa Conley in the 50 free, 100 back, Nathan Olverding in the 53, Richard Skaggs in one meter diving, Luke Connor in the 100 free, Anne Marie Yankee in the 500 free, Jake Seifried in the 100 back, and Sam Kripe in the 100 breast. Great job, Miller swimmers. Also come out and see your Miller swimmers compete against 10 other teams Saturday night or Saturday at NHS Swim Bite at 10 a.m. at the NHS Auditorium. If you're ready to see your boy and my boy, Jay Mills, go off for a triple-double in the mill, come out to the boys' varsity basketball game on Saturday against Peru. Varsity starts at 7.30 p.m. Also, Ben Heron and Jackson Thurman and the JV boys start at 6. Your Miller wrestling team lost to Westfield Tuesday night. However, Derek Noon, Stephen Kitko, Matt Smith, and Josh Morrow brought home wins for the Millers. Ready to get some revenge, Millers? Your Lady Millers are out to avenge the boys for Fishers at Fishers tomorrow. Let's show some more support for our 8-0 girls. And for the record, that's the best start we've had since the 1980s. That's when I was born. Let's overwhelm them, Millers. I hate to see you go, Miss White, but this is the end of our sports run together. But promise me that you'll come back next semester for Guest Anchor Week again. You got it, Bill Cower. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Nice